We'll come back to How Easy by Dennis Lowry a little bit later. What you see, who you see right there is songwriting legend Ron Chant. The Hearing is Fun YouTube channel is full of songs written by Ron. The complete songs, typically it takes about two and a half, three, four minutes per song when Ron sings them in their entirety. But we came up with an idea to have Ron sing 10 songs back to back to back to back, but he'll just sing the first verse of each one. Songwriting legend Ron Chant, does that sound agreeable? Sounds good to me. Maybe it'll make him want to see the, hear the rest of it. That's what we're after. And I have another trick up my sleeve in addition to that. But Ron, you said it all. Maybe this will incline viewers and listeners to want to hear the rest of each of the following songs that Ron's going to introduce and then sing the first verse or so. Songwriting legend Ron Chant, I turn it over to you. As you see fit, we are now recording. Okay. The first song is called The Box in the Closet. <clears throat> Today I cleaned out the whole closet. I'd been putting it off for some time. And the way in the back on the very top shelf sat a small box wrapped tightly with twine. It had been quite a while since I'd seen it. So I sat down and unwrapped the ties. And I lifted the top and my heart skipped a beat as I looked down into your blue eyes. I saw that one. Next up is Gone But Not Forgotten. When she caught me with another woman, she just turned and walked away. I hurried straight home, but I just missed her. And that's all I've done is miss her since that day. Cause she's gone, but not forgotten. I didn't have to wonder why. Oh, she's gone, but not forgotten. I won't forget her till the day I die. The next up is looking for a place to kill some time. Well, if you're wondering why I'm hanging around this tavern, still empty in the early afternoon, just the barmaid, no one else, I'm shooting eight ball by myself. Jukebox kicking out a country king. Well, they sent us home at noon down at the foundry. Oh, but going home's the last thing on my mind. I just need a place to be. I'm not here for company. I'm looking for a place to kill some time. And this one is another fool like me. I walk slowly from the courthouse to the bar across the street. Keep it full, I said, as long as I can sit here on this seat. Friend, you've got a real celebrity sitting on this stool. They just made me the world's greatest fool. You just gotten your divorce, and I haven't heard from you since then. Think you drove away in my new truck, smiling at your new boyfriend. Looking back, I can't imagine now what I was thinking of. I guess there's no fool like a fool that fooled around and fell in love. And that's a fact. Uh, next up is looking for someone. I'm looking for someone to talk to. I've talked to myself for too long And what good is writing music If nobody hears your song I'm looking for someone to love me I'm looking for someone to love And with all of the love I've got to give doesn't somebody out there want some? Oh, how about hard times in a hard place? 
My daddy died in World War II on an island far away. Left my mama by herself for two little boys to raise. But mama was a beauty, all the boys were hanging around. She had her pick of any man she wanted in that town. So why she picked the one she did, I'll never understand. But as soon as they were married, he became a different man. Lloyd Markle was a farmer. That's all. Uh, this is my autobiography, Worn Out Cowboy Blues. Well, I went to see the doctor this morning, told him I was feeling low. I had to get back in the saddle, and I lost all my giddy up go. Well, he hit me on the knee with a hammer, and he said, I got some really bad news. You're gonna for sure, cause there ain't no cure for the worn out cowboy blues. And next up is Rain Night Blues. A dimly lit tavern with dust on the table, cigarette smoke hangs in the air. The bar mirror's broken in two or three places. But there's nobody in here who cares. The jukebox is playing a sad country song. It gives the place just a right atmosphere. And if there's anyone happy anywhere in the world, you'd never know it in here. The birds all stop singing. Somewhere a meadow lark whistles his tune as the sun touches roses still kissed by the dew. But here that our house the sky's always gray and the birds all stop singing when you went away. I lived in a dark world, a glass in my hand, headed for nowhere with nothing behind. With whiskey, my lover, and misery, my friend, were days without meaning, brought nights without end. And love was a fairy tale word in the song. We came from the jukebox to play it all night long. But love came to me when you walked in the door, cause I knew I'd seen you in my dreams before. And I call this next song Justice. She threw her wedding band into the garbage can. She said she didn't love me anymore. My tears began to fall. She didn't care at all. Just grabbed her bags and headed for the door. She said, I'm through with you, walked out and climbed into her brand new lover's brand new Cadillac. And with her finger high, she smiled and waved goodbye. They drove away and never once looked back. And next up is another fool song. This one is Some Fools Don't Ever Learn. Last night around midnight, the phone rang. 
And I wonder now who can that be? I've always hated those late night calls Cause they always bring bad news to see And this time was no exception some old bad news of mine had returned And she wanted to stop by and see me And some fools don't ever learn One more? Two more. Two more. Okay, next one up is Windy City Blues. I've never been to Chicago, but I wrote a song about it anyway. Hmm. Down in the valley, the valley's so is songwriting legend Ron Chant performing a medley of 10 different songs written by Ron. We teamed up before we went live on that concept. How about introducing a spectrum of Ron's songs by singing the first verse of a number of songs? Those 10 plus another 20 are on the Hearing is Fun YouTube channel. If you're streaming this right now live or seeing this recorded later, you're already on the Hearing is Fun YouTube channel. Please let others know Ron Chant is seeking an independent artist, an independent musician or band that can team up with Ron and turn some more of Ron's songs into Radio Ready songs. Ron, what's your thoughts on what you just did, a medley of 10 of your songs? Well, I got some of them that are better than that, even. Not many, but a few. Ron, a fair amount of folks know all about you from the Hearing is Fun podcast on Spotify and Apple Podcasts and or from these YouTube Outlaw Dojo episodes. So this might be repetitive. Ron, you stop me where I'm wrong. You're book of songs your notebook binder of songs has in the neighborhood of 50 songs is that about right that's about right like most artists and songwriters you have more than that you said you probably have written in the neighborhood of 100 to 200 songs yet about 50 you are the most proud of is that is that accurate that's pretty close i 
maybe not 200, but 150 at least. Big 10-4. You just showcased 10 different songs in about, let's say, 10 minutes. Ron, you said it all with respect to perhaps somebody tuning in, listening to those 10 songs will be inspired and inclined to go listen to the whole song. That's exactly what we're after. One more time, we need to have an independent artist or band like a Dennis Lowry or a State of Oregon country band, Robert Henry and the Repeaters. Those are two artists that have already teamed up with Ron, but Ron has so many more songs that we need more artists to team up with Ron and we'll play those songs on the radio. Ron, after doing those 10 that you just did, did any particular one come to mind that comes to the top of mind that you'd like to get on the radio? Uh, <laughs> no, not any of them in particular. One of them. I want them all on the radio. Uh, I'm 82 years old. I don't know how much time I got left. So I'd like to hear some of these songs on the radio. That's 82-year-old songwriting legend Ron Chant, the star of episode 2414 of the Outlaw Dojo on the Hearing is Fun YouTube channel. In addition to the Hearing is Fun YouTube channel, there is a seven-part, seven-episode series on the Hearing is Fun podcast on Spotify and Apple Podcasts. Our episodes-ish that walk the listener through Ron Chant's journey to get songs he has written turned into Radio Ready songs and played around the world on Outlaw Country Radio. And of course, in addition to that, wherever Ron can go and where these songs can go. So Ron, you said it all. 82-year-old songwriting legend, New Mexico Cowboy, and marine veteran needs more artists needs needs independent musicians to team up with ron collaborate and get more of ron's songs turned into radio ready songs our email address is right there on the screen info at hearing is fun.com is a great way to contact us earlier in the episode ron sang the first verse of 10 different songs all in a row. Ron, plus or minus, how many songs are you feeling for this set? I've got 10 more. Okay. Strap in and get ready for a 10 song medley of 10 more songs written by songwriting legend Ron Chant. Okay. <clears throat> Last night I was sitting home doing some wishful thinking Looking at the world outside and all that snow. If you've ever wondered how old Santa Claus lives at the North Pole, just come and spend January in Buffalo. Now I try not to analyze my situation, and to some I guess I'm where they'd like to be. But when I look to where I've been and look ahead to where I'm going, somehow things just don't seem right to me. I was reading the paper with my morning coffee, looking through the classified ad, hunting more bargains that I didn't need to go with all the bargains I had. And then down towards the bottom, the words caught my eye. He said, it's going, it's going, I'm gone. He said, baby, moved out and moved in with her new love. And it's time for me to be moving on. It was our anniversary. A few years ago, we had plenty of love, but money was low. 
Since my baby loves roses, I went to the store. Roses were way more than I could afford. I didn't have anything there I could sell. So I headed for home, feeling like hell. Then right up ahead of me out by the street, I see dozens of roses lined up nice and neat. Well, I couldn't buy roses, but these would be free. They seem to be saying, pick me, pick me, please. Last night when the bar closed, I went for a drive. Cause I just couldn't stand going home. To a cold, empty house full of cold, empty rooms And a cold, empty night all alone Then I found myself driving down the street where we lived But the house where we lived wasn't there Two-story apartments and a big parking lot has replaced the old house that we had shared. It's 3 a.m. The bars are closed and there's nowhere else to go. So I came home to this empty house and turned on the radio. Outside the rain is pouring down and my heart is raining too. It's another night of drinking and thinking about you. Your bags are packed and waiting by the door, but this time it's no different than it was the time before. So go on if you want to. You'll be sorry, wait and see, you'll never find a bigger fool than me. When I kissed you there in the chapel and placed my ring on your hand, I promised I'd love you forever, and I swore it on a tiny gold band. Then we joined our two hearts together, till death do us part, we both lie. We had such great expectations, and a great fire burning inside. Well, I'm a baby boomer, baby, and I'm getting up in years. My dark brown hair is all turned to gray. And my mind keeps wandering back to things I did or didn't do, wondering if I might have found a better way. When I left the farm, I swore I'd never milk another cow. And that's still a promise I intend to keep. But sometimes I wake up tired and realize that I've been dreaming, running through a field of cow pies in my sleep. You ask me if I own that girl at the bar. You've been watching her for a while. And you ask me if I've ever asked her to dance. You have them. Ah, I screwed that up. Ron, if agreeable, just start it over. You asked me if I know that girl at the bar. 
you've been watching her for a while. You watched other men come and ask her to dance, but you haven't once seen her smile. So you asked me if I've ever asked her to dance, and if I did, what did she say? Well, I've asked her to dance with me hundreds of times, and she always just said, okay. I packed everything I could into one suitcase, put the snow chains on my pickup one last time, and I gave no consideration to my final destination. I was leaving you in that Montana winter behind. I couldn't tell which one of you was colder, and it was 30-some degrees below outside. It was leaving freeze to death, so I packed up my things and left, and I went looking for a nice warm place to hide. Do you mind sharing whatever comes to mind regarding military service members, past or present? No, that's something I can talk about. My daddy was killed on Iwo Jima in World War II. And so I knew from the time I could walk that I was going to be a Marine. And I was a Marine for a while, long enough. It's one of the few things I've done in my life that I'm sincerely proud of. And as far as reading a lot, I, I love military history. All the way back to the Revolutionary War, I guess. Mostly though, World War II, Vietnam, Korea. Well, I just finished three books on the Korean War and two of them were about the Marine Corps, one about the Army. And anybody that knows anything about the Korean War knows that that was a hell of a mess for a while, but the Marines fought their way out, brought all their dead and wounded with them and all their equipment, while the Army left everything behind and barely made it out. In fact, a hell of a lot of them didn't make it out. But the Chinese ambushed him up there, way up in North Korea, and middle of, win middle of the coldest winter on record over there. And I knew a bunch of those guys that were in Korea when I was in the Marine Corps. And that was, that was something that they're, they were all extremely proud of. Well, from the general, from the general in command over there, all the way down to the lowest private, it was something that, hell, it's something they can be proud of. On the album this time is the song called This Time. Ron, anything else you would share about the album this time? Uh, if you can get get your hands on it, it's worth the trouble. That songwriting legend, Ron Chant. This is a shout out to Rochambeau. Ron, since you're reading it, if you don't mind that Rochambeau just said something, I'm going to go ahead and read it because I can tell it's got some, uh, it's got some good attitude in it. Greatest statement about an album of all time. If you can get your hands on it, it's worth the trouble. Dang, Rochambeau, thanks for eyeballing that. Ron, so that's feedback for you. More reinforcement while you're a poet and a songwriter, because you have a way with words. That might be in the neighborhood of a relatively long chief name or slogan, but if anyone can picture that on a t-shirt, if you can get your hands on it, it's worth the trouble, Ron. I think we call that a chief name, but I know that you know what a chief name means. It really just means a slogan. Let's, uh, we'll stand by for Rochambeau's feedback. Maybe you two co-register that, and we'll get some hoodies and t-shirts t-shirts with the slogan. If you can get your hands on it, 
it's worth the trouble. Thank you, Rochambeau, for being who you are, a author and poet yourself. Today, we're joined now by DJ Sam. DJ Sam, patron at Washougal Times Restaurant and Lounge. Thank you for joining DJ Hondo here in the studio. <laughs> of course. Great to be here. Here we are, April something. It's early April 2024. Mm -hmm. Spring is in the air. We've recently had some sunny days, followed by yeah. some rainy days. It's planting season. It's springtime garden preparation seasoning. If agreeable, let's just jump right into what your thoughts are as a reminder for all of us and what you've been up to regarding springtime gardening and planting. Yeah, it's a great time to be planting your garden. Um, dividing your dahlias which is what i've done uh and then also pruning your roses pruning lots of your shrubs and um like my current bushes i've pruned uh fertilizing everything especially my roses prone to black spots so i also use a systemic on them um, plan how you're going to lay out your garden prep everything if you need to add compost or manure it's a great time to do that to let it mix into your soil before you actually plant stuff. Um, you can plant some early season stuff now. I've got a couple herbs, you know, like rosemary and thyme that can handle a little bit cooler weather. It's still a bit early for basil, but um, yeah, it's a great time to plan and prep. In that world of gardening micro level, your life and your garden, did mm -hmm. you say dividing the dahlias? What's, yes. what's that technically regarding dahlia specific? So dahlia flowers, they grow from tubers that grow, the tubers grow additional tubers every season and you have to divide them, otherwise they kind of get out of control. So you want to dig them up, make sure they're not diseased or rotted if you overwinter yours in the ground like I do, or if you have the convenience of a climate control uh, and humidity control greenhouse or shed or anything like that you can store over winter in there but you still need to divide them it's a great time to do it right now and then uh, plant what you're gonna keep and either sell or give away the rest one more time it's April 2024 that term dividing the dahlias <laughs> instantly sounds like a handkerchief name or slogan to me <laughs> we'll come back to that that'll make more sense when I read off the chief names that have been registered since last Wednesday Right. On the note of chief names, my massive guns and these two microphones sometimes don't cooperate. So I'm going to put the camera on you okay. to really just hide me while my massive <laughs> okay. guns navigate to plug in uh, our next broadcast. Right. So gardening, flowers, dahlias, mm -hmm. herbs, produce. Mm -hmm. How about you speak to what you like to do when it comes to gardening regarding flowers, herbs, produce what you see fit as a snapshot of your gardening life and I'll be right back perfect well I have a very small yard and I make do with what I've got I have a lot that I grow in pots so um, my raspberries I grow in pots to control them since they send runners out underground and take over I, I recently fertilized them trim back any dead branches and trellis them and fertilize them. I fertilize my blueberries and prune back any dead branches as well. I've taken care of my roses and pruning and it was a hard winter on them. I had a lot die back on my roses and I have about three roses that I'm not sure if they're gonna come back. They look dead dead but I'm waiting for the rootstock to see if they send up any new uh, branches from the rootstock so What's your thoughts on last spring and last year's growing season? Any goods, bads, pros or cons for last year that you're using to adjust for this year's planting season? Kind of. The last two years we had, uh, what was it, La Nina? Isn't this year's an El Nino, I think? Yeah, so the last two years we had a really long, wet winter and spring. So it took a long time to warm up and then it just warmed up all of a sudden over the last two years and it was a terrible they were both terrible seasons for my dahlias they did not like that i didn't get my first blooms until end of july and into august 
but on El Nino years where we have a milder winter, you kind of have to gamble because yes, it's still early and we could still have frost, um, but because it feels warmer and given the way the last El Nino years went, I was able to start dahlias early and get them to sprout earlier. So I'm prepping earlier than I, a little bit earlier than I normally would. And I'm taking a gamble and putting a few plants in the ground just to see how they do, because I feel like it's going to be a warmer spring than the last two years. You heard it here first. That's why we call this the Outlaw <laughs> Dojo. Valuable, hopefully, and useful community information reminding people it is April. It is the Pacific Northwest. It's time to plant, fertilize, prep flowers gardens what are some of the things that you are going to have as part of your garden this year um i every year i grow tomatoes in pots as well as peppers um i always grow herbs but since i don't have a whole lot of space i dedicate most of my space to either flowers or existing blueberry and current shrubs so i will just do about four tomato plants and probably six to eight pepper plants for me personally. That's what I would make the most use of. I know I keep repeating it's early April 2024 yeah. and that's been on my mind lately for a topic I'd like to switch to here in a bit but here it is early April 2024. How long do you picture the planting season going on? one more weekend or a few more weeks? When would, when do you envision you'll have all your plants planted or seeded? I mean, it's a process over time. I mean, everything is kind of staggered depending on their season and when they bloom and whatnot. I probably won't buy actual tomato and pepper plants until May, just to kind of be sure we're past our last frost. Um, I have b purchased some herbs so far, but actual Unless it's cold weather crops that so you can do like leafy greens and brassicas like cauliflower and broccoli you can buy right now because they handle cold weather. But anything that requires warmer weather like tomatoes and peppers and basil, I, I'll wait to purchase before we have more consistently warmer weather without such uh, cool nights. And I feel like that's some good news for those of us out here who are like, oh, that's right. It's spring. It's April. Chop, chop. I got a plant. April, May, you're still going to be planning through May. So I feel like if anything, you reminding us that it is planning season, mm -hmm. but it's not like it has to happen right now. No, it's the, it's the best time to prep for sure. You don't have to plant anything right now if you're not ready, but it is a good time to definitely prune and fertilize. Those are the two things that if I didn't do anything else, that's what I would be doing is pruning and fertilizing. There we go. The Outlaw Dojo is the world's premier <laughs> Outlaw Dojo. To our knowledge, there is no cooler Outlaw Dojo on Earth. Why is that the case, DJ Sam? That's because we bring applicable information to the world, reminders, turn back the clocks, tributes, and such. Simultaneous to this YouTube.com live broadcast, I'm going to kick on a Stone Jacks Life Facebook Live broadcast okay. because in the old days we used to do Facebook Live. Now we do YouTube Live. We try to keep the Facebook going. Not trying to rush it, but the uh, Apple pad that we'll use to do the Facebook has 10% battery left. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to make it short and sweet in a minute and 48 seconds. Which gives me just enough time, DJ Sam, to explain why I kept saying it's April 2024. Exactly four years ago, April 2020, we, the world, the country, the Pacific Northwest, was in the midst of COVID. The mm -hmm. pandemic, the global pandemic known as COVID, exactly four years ago was big time. That's right. Um, distancing masks mandates just that's a throwback of turn back the clock um, like january 2024 is when covid first hit the united states so january would be like three months ago january but it was april 2020 by april we the united states was big time into canceling graduations mm -hmm. just uh distancing just 
We wouldn't be able to sit here like yeah. this. Yeah. So that's what makes April. It wasn't like it was just April, but that's kind yeah. of a reminder that by four years ago, April, we were in the middle of the life changing social application of pandemic readiness and awareness and actions and activities and causes and effects. I only got 23 seconds left. I just feel like it's time to say four years in to COVID, Cheez-Its still <laughs> exist, but where in the world, what happened to cheese nips? <laughs> That's right, Outlaw World. DJ Hondo here, thanking you kindly for tuning in to Stone Jack's O'Clock Live Broadcast Wednesday. I'm about 17 plus 30 minutes late into playing the most highly requested song since last Wednesday. And that's when I like to call out the Stone Jacks O'Clock Athlete of the Week. So please enjoy this song by Billy Strings for the next 2 minutes and 54 seconds. Then I'll be back to play the most highly requested song since last Wednesday. That's right, Outlaw World. We just kicked off episode 2414 of Stone Jack's O'Clock on Facebook Live. Stone Jack's Life, all one word. That's our Facebook. Facebook page is called Stone Jack's Life. It's time to call out the chief names that have been registered at StoneJacks.com since last Wednesday. Behind me is StoneJacks.com. Anybody that's watching this broadcast knows what StoneJacks.com is, but a lot of folks don't know until I mention it the seventh time. In the menu at the top of the website, StoneJacks.com, is a menu item called Chief Names. The menu item Chief Names takes you to the Chief Name Manifest, where the following Chief Names have now been registered. Chief, Sanctuary of Humility. Chief, Oogled and Googled. Chief, One Love. Chief Peanut Peddler, <laughs> Chief Colin M. N. Try to say that one, probably how that meant to get registered. And I'm leaning over here looking at my computer. I am looking at a computer that's at stonejacks.com. Specifically, I'm reading these from the stonejacks.com chief name manifest. Chief Colin M. N. Chief. Plotting like Sun Tzu, Chief Nice Responsible Buzz, <laughs> Chief Optimize Your Sensory Diet, Chief Pairs Well with Good Times, Chief Hawk and Roll, and lastly, Chief Sexy Like an El Camino. <laughs> Those are the chief names that have been registered at StoneJacks.com since last Wednesday. They wind up on apparel. They wind up on hoodies, tank tops, and t-shirts. Be sure and visit StoneJacks.com. Register an original chief name to the chief name manifest or check out apparel with your favorite chief names or slogans attached. Chief Set for Stun, Chief Fear No Dojo, Chief Appeals Court are an example are examples of some of the most common chief names. Okay, DJ Sam, I'm jumping on the air to say this. DJ Hondo here, proud to announce the following song is the most highly requested song since last Wednesday. Last Wednesday is when we did the Stone Jacks O'Clock and Outlaw Country Radio debut of Me and Hondo, a song by independent artist Chief Keef. Congratulations, Chief Keef. This song, your song, Me and Hondo, is the most highly requested song since last Wednesday. <clears throat> Just going to reinforce 
<laughs> four years into COVID, four years after the pinnacle of COVID, the pandemic, the global pandemic that had all kinds of actions and reactions and courses of action, Cheez-Its continue to be available in grocery stores. What's no longer available are cheese nips. Who made cheese nips? Was that Ooh. a Nabisco thing or? Now we don't want to get canceled if you want to dig deep into <laughs> cheese nips, DJ Sam. <laughs> Sorry. I mean, that seems like a fair question, but sometimes you ask too many questions about COVID you kind of get censored, so. Sorry, sorry. I feel like that's a very reasonable question. Who made cheese nips? But in case we can't talk about who made cheese nips, <laughs> okay. I just want to, if you don't mind, acknowledge where are cheese nips? Where are cheese nips? And of course, I'd be holding up a box of cheese nips right now, but I have to use cheese its because there are no more cheese nips. Sam, how are you? Perfect. How about this? We'll set we'll set out in one second. Well, that was bad. That's not accurate. <laughs> We'd be out by now. Yeah. <laughs> how about we set out in about thirty seconds? Okay. In those thirty seconds, I'm gonna get make sure the playlist has some songs yeah. that are appropriate. And I'm also going to play you, what you'll hear in your ear, a relatively new song released by State of Georgia, outlaw country artist Dennis Lowry. The song in your ear is called How Easy. Johnny Cash's song, Five Feet High and Rising, moved to the top of DJ Hondo's playlist by DJ Sam, who are going to step out for a little evening air and let everybody enjoy How Easy by Dennis Lowry. Put these headphones on and give a shout out to artwithwords.com. 
artwithwords.com. That's a store, a website, and the place to get the world's best gifts. Apparel and readable drawings that are frameable keepsakes. Shout out to the original art prints. The readable drawings, the frameable keepsakes at artwithwords.com. If you have a birthday coming up, if you have someone you know getting married, getting engaged, newborns, family reunions, maybe a boss's day, October 2024, as I read that one there that says women, maybe a happy birthday to someone who likes to fish. Maybe you just decide what readable drawing is applicable for you and your next family reunion or situation where you need a gift in the form of a readable drawing intended to be signed by the applicable loved ones and then framed and given to the guest of honor. Don't forget about geographically pretty cool artwork on apparel at artwithwords.com updated weekly artwithwords.com products are updated weekly and the promo code keepsakes all one word all caps promo code keepsakes at artwithwords.com which is regularly updated with new readable drawings original art prints intended to be signed framed and given as the world's best gift shout out to artwithwords.com check it out on the reg every week thank you kindly from dj hondo to artwithwords.com shout out to songwriting legend ron chant and dj sam who teamed up with dj hondo in the outlaw studio sure appreciate you all tuning in Digging deep and hard, 6,000 cubic yards at a time, just like the Dredge Essions. Shout out to all the hardworking crew members of the Dredge Essions. Captain Holcroft, Chief Dave, and all the crew members of the Dredge Essions. Thank you kindly for tuning in to Stone Jacks O'Clock Live Broadcast Wednesdays. Norma B, Quattro Toro, Wolf, Hawk from Smoky River, the crew of the tugboat Terralyn, Tad and Heather M, Lindsay and CB, songwriting legend Ron Chant, AJ Bogue, DJ Commander, Bill Ritchie, Bill Ritchie and family. Thank you very kindly for tuning in to Stone Jacks O'Clock and the Dutchman. The doctor told DJ Hondo he better stop balling that jack. Therefore, DJ Hondo out. That's just a reminder. If you want to be notified about the next batch of Stone Jacks seasoning, I highly recommend you go to stonejacks.com, sign up for email notification because they're going to go fast. They always do. Use promo code Hondo, ja, 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 ja. Thank you, stonejacks.com, DJ Hondo out.